welcome to this week's vlog. It's Monday, January 3rd, and I am not in California right now. I was supposed to be starting this vlog at the airport, but um, the flight got canceled, so I'm gonna enjoy a couple more days of vacation, but I am already submitting to a bunch of casting calls. I'm gonna enjoy the snow and relax. So our flight got canceled again and then one more time. So today is Wednesday and um, I have a self tape. So I am filming it here in the guest bedroom. I did it. I filmed my audition. I have one other one when I, where I'm supposed to just be doing things. They want to see my full body in action. I'm just going to put clothes in a suitcase. I think that'll be the best plan to do like my full body and in action. Well, I am super grateful that I have a tripod because without the tripod, it would be so annoying. I'm gonna go send them in. We finally made it onto an airplane. We're on our way home and it's Thursday. Finally home. Last night uh, I got three auditions, self tape audition requests from my agency. I need to do those today and I just confirmed them yesterday but I didn't work at them on, on them at all because we got home yesterday and then we went grocery shopping, unpacked, all of that. And um, I actually also went to the library. One of the things that I want to do this year is read more books. And um, I've been wanting to read this while we snap um, for a while. And I'm also going to be reading, finish reading Good People or Normal People. And I'm Not Your Perfect Mexican Daughter because I would love to be a part of that some way, somehow. This other audition that is for a commercial, this is a, um, a casting office that has called me back lots and lots of times. And I don't think I've ever booked a job with them, but this one is right up my alley. It's for a tech company and you are going to be, they, they basically want somebody to be able to look at a screen, a computer screen and be friendly without somebody actually being there. And guess what? I do this on YouTube all of the time. Sometimes successfully, sometimes not, but it's just like introducing myself and talking about um, my acting experience. So that's going to be right up my alley. Oh my gosh, please, can I book this job? So this is for a tech company in the Bay Area. And it is from um, Kristen Beck Casting. I knew it was one of the offices that often calls me in for auditions. And why have I never booked a job for them? It's probably the client, they just don't see what they need in me. But this one is for a Latina 31 to 39 year old office worker, which I'm 30, but I think I could play 31 just fine. <laughs> and um, the pay rate is, is decent. And then I also want to see what other auditions I need to send because casting networks, um, at least in LA, they do a lot of posts where they give you like a phrase or a paragraph or sides, other longer sides and scenes of something that they just want you to go ahead and send in without them requesting it. I did a video about all of my auditions in 2021 and then I remembered I did another, I booked another job um, that I didn't put in there. So I really want to focus this year also on making sure that I'm tracking every single audition and I'm going to look through my audition tracker and see what else I would find helpful to track this year um, because it's always different, you know, just things will work differently for you, your needs, your wants. So I just read the one of the auditions again, and it turns out this one is a print audition for a tech company in the Bay Area, and it is an office job employee, so or like an office employee. So um, I decided to change into this shirt, and then I will audition like this. Or I'm about to do a test shot right now of um, my profile, so I can make sure that they can see everything. My hair doesn't look crazy because this one they did ask for profiles and pictures of my hands or to include my hands it's a little too bright 
that's better. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna take a look at that. Of um, okay, so you can see my bra and I just fixed it and then my hair was a little bit bunched up too. So fix that. And then I can do my slate and my audition. I'm at a red light and I just realized I haven't driven in like, I don't know, three weeks, over three weeks, probably three and a half. It's been so long since I've driven and so long since I've gotten to Target. I'm so excited to just go and like, I have a list of what I'm buying, of course, but I might get a little something else. There shouldn't be that many people there right now because it's like the middle of the day and it's a Friday, so we'll see. I don't wanna be exposed to people right now. There's actually a lot more people here than I thought there was gonna be. Um, I got what I needed, so I think I'm just gonna go. I'm not gonna shop around, which is a little sad, but at least I got what I needed. Okay, I lied. The organizing section, like the section that has all of the boxes, um, isn't crowded and I do really need to organize my kitchen so I'm gonna take a few of these I'm gonna take these two just to test them out because I think this is just what I need but um, I might need more but I don't want to buy a bunch and then have to come back and return them that turned into a $90 trip <laughs> I'm gonna take my popcorn and my kombucha and take a little break. It's time to start finally memorizing the lines for that pilot audition that I have. Um, so what I like to do to memorize lines um, as of right now, because this does change all of the time, just depending on when I hear about new things that I try out and then I see if it works for me, I like to write all of the lines that I have to say and then memorize them just my lines and then I'll start incorporating the other lines of whoever else is talking so I'm gonna write them down right now and then my goal is going to be to have half of the lines memorized by tonight it's the end of the day and um, I'm still working on memorizing the script for the pilot but um, I wanted to close off this vlog and say one more thing um, si eres un actor que hablas español, ahorita están buscando en Carla Who Casting en Instagram eh, mexicanos que hablen español y ahorita están buscando nueve personajes. So if you are, if you speak Spanish, definitely go follow Carla Who Casting and they have posted a bunch of casting calls. I'm going to make a short about it just so more people can find out about it. But um, they're looking for like um, La Bruja del 71. Um, Doña Florinda, uh, I think they were looking for Professor Girafales as well. They were looking for nine characters. Um, anyways, I'll talk more about that then, but I'm going to close off this vlog. Thank you so much for watching. And at the end of every video, I feature another channel. And this is today's feature. If you would like to be featured on my next video, make sure that you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment.